Hello, can you hear me? All right, well, welcome everyone to this first candidate forum for the 2023 CSU elections. Today, we're going to be hearing from presidents and vice presidents, very important roles. Uh, my name is David Ennis. I am the election administrator for these elections. And before we get started, I just wanted to thank all of you participants for doing this. I think this is a very uh, worthwhile exercise and very useful for voters. I also would like to thank Freya and Matt from The Courier who have agreed to moderate this event. Thank you very much. Uh, as third parties, your role here is very valuable. <clears throat> um, so that's all that I have to say, um, except congratulations to all of you candidates. And uh, thank you again for doing this. And uh, with that, I will hand over to Freya and Matt. Perfect. Thank you so much, David. Uh, so thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, we first want to say that we have us as the core prepared you questions for today's candidates. Um, but we will also be asking questions submitted by the audience throughout the session. So you as the audience, if you have any questions, add them to the chat and we will answer them for you or ask them for you. Um, and same for candidates as well. If you have any questions for your fellow candidates, ask them. Just make sure to note who it is for. So type in the candidate's name. So up first, we want to welcome uh, the candidates for the role Vice President External. So that would be Manpreet. Um, could you come to the stage, please? We'll give him some time. Always takes a little bit. Perfect. It looks like Manpreet is now at the stage. Um, Manpreet, are you here? Just wanting to make sure before we start asking questions. All right. I see Manpreet is here on stage. Just wanting to make sure that um, he is here and able to unmute and potentially put on his camera before we start asking any questions. I believe that there might be some technical difficulties. So um, just hold on one second before we figure things out. All right. So it doesn't seem like Manpreet is available. So we will ask um, for um Sahij Barar to come to stage as well All right, so it seems like Manpreet is um, unable to unmute or turn on their camera, which is no worries. Um, we will come back to the um, vice president external later on. But up next, I will pass on over to Matt um, and call to the stage for Javier Bautista for the vice president role um, in financial and services. So thank you, Matt. Hi, hello everyone. 
My name is Javier Bautista, and I'm indeed running for the position of Vice President of Finance and Services. Hey, Javier. Hello. Um, could you introduce yourself? You kind of already have uh, your pronouns, if you feel comfortable, and let us know why you're a good candidate for this position. Yeah, of course. So my pronouns are he and him, and um, I believe that I am a um, good candidate for this position due to my previous experience in in management of uh, money and uh, and business. So like five years ago, I had a company running for three years with over 15 people working on it. Um, this company was um, in charge of making many projects and in different fields, we were traveling to different countries like India. Um, we went to United States, we went to England and um, I know, we, I was in charge of like managing the money in the projects and see where to allocate these funds and see which project which project was better and will produce more like output than the other ones. So I think that experience gives me a lot of um, I don't know like <laughs> a base for for running for this position. Great, thank you. Uh, if you could only accomplish one thing during your term, what would it be? And who in the university would you need to build a relationship with to get it done? So one thing that I that I want to do um, if I get elected is to um, manage to purchase a bus um, that will help people from residents going to to the university. So it can like save them a lot of time because I I was uh, a resident and I was also a resident advisor at Capilano University. And um, I've seen the struggle of having an 8.30 a.m. class and having to wake up super early. Maybe the bus doesn't pass through there because like the schedule is not that good there. So I want to focus on getting that, like the, that bus. And also could, that bus could help the image of Capilano by putting a logo on the outside and be, be used for sport teams um, in Capilano, like the basketball team or like the volleyball team. For the relationship that I have to build um, to get this bus, I believe the president of the CSU, so we can work together in getting the best um, price and thing for the for the bus. Thank you. Uh, what is something the CSU isn't doing that you wish they were? And I might ask you just not to rehash the um, hash the bus thing. What other thing that the CSU isn't doing? <laughs> Um, to do. So I think something they are doing, but I think they they could do better is the um, inclusion of the international students. As all of you know, Capilano is uh, formed by a lot of international students, and I think um, there are groups being made. So there are like different groups um, that are being made at university, and it kind of it it kind of distances people to um, from being together. Because because people might feel more comfortable talking to that group in a specific, but they don't get the opportunity to talk to another person and maybe see like, wow, I'm really compatible with this person as well. So I will try to create more activities, more events that promote um, all of international students being together. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, why should students vote for you? Um. Well, I I love students to vote for me, and um, since I would love to apply all these um, initiatives I have in university, I also think I have um, experience that backs me up in for this position, and I'm really open to hear about if I get elected to hear about any possible changes and measures that could be done, and hear them from students and apply them directly and talk directly up about these measures with other members of the CSU. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to add? No, I just want to thank everyone for having me here and giving me this opportunity to be here. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Javier. Yeah, thank you. And next up, if you are here, will be uh, Rajbir Kaur. And I apologize in advance if my pronunciation is off.
Great. Hello. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Okay. Great. So, could you introduce yourself, your pronouns, if you Hi. feel comfortable, and let us know why you're uh, a good candidate for this? Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Rajpur, and my pronouns are she and her. Uh, right now, I'm the mentor at the Capital Learning University. So, I would like to help the students like in every field. That's why I like try to choose the more like my friends and for financial services. That's why I'm thinking that I'm a good candidate. Great, thank you. Uh, if you could only accomplish one thing during your term, what would it be, and who would you have to build a relationship with to get it done? Uh, according to me, like in the every term, I would like to like organize an event uh, with collecting all the finances so that like every student could promote the culture and uh, make a good relationship with each other. It makes a friendly environment at the Capital University. And uh, Mikey, I would go to the president of the PSU. Thank you. And sorry, what is something the CSU isn't doing that you wish they were? Sorry. I couldn't even hear you. Ooh, sorry, you cut out there for a second. But, um, what is something the CSU is not doing that you wish they were? Uh, you mean CSU don't do that, the thing? Yeah. What are they not doing that you wish they were? I think so. They are not. Sorry, I couldn't get your question. There. So think of something that the CSU isn't doing that right now, right? You, right now, yeah, uh -huh. that you wish they would be doing or that you would like them to do. Um, maybe they should organize like some uh, events for the students that students can get encouraged with them and get participate in them. Great, thank you. Um, and what would your main goal be in regards to the 2023-2024 budget? The main goal is when we are in the mentorship, when we like organizing an event, so it's really hard to get the finances. So I would like to like uh, get the finances from the uh, to like, organize the event so that uh, I'm sorry, you're cutting out really badly. Um, you've just frozen. Can you hear me at all? Sorry. Yeah. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you all right now. Sorry, I'm going to have to ask you to repeat your answer, though. Hello. Uh, could you repeat your answer for the question I just asked? So what would your main goal be in regards to the budget? Uh, for the budget, uh, like it should be not the maximum and not the minimum. Um, like maybe $20,000 for $20,000 $20, for a year, like which I'm thinking to organizing the event at the Capilano University. Good. Thank you. Okay. And um, why should students vote for you? Uh, because I think I'm a very helpful person. Uh, because uh, as I previously told you, I'm the potential uh, mentor at the university. I would like to um, like say to the students to vote for me because I can help them in organizing the like making the relationship and relationships to participate in the event. They can enjoy that. Great, thank you. Anything you'd like to add? Uh, no. Great, thank you very much, Rajvir. And next up on our list would be Gagandeep Singh Rai. Are you there?
No Gagandeep. Okay. Um, Akshit Kansra, are you there? Okay. No Akshit either. So I will pass it over to Freya, who will introduce the Vice Presidents of Student Affairs or the candidates for such. Perfect. All right, it looks like we're, we're all good on the feedback situation. We almost had a scare there, but <laughs> it's all good. Um, so first up, I would like to welcome Nika Williamson, who is already on the stage, which is great to hear. All right, hello, Nico. Hi, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you great. Um, so first question is simple, just to introduce yourself. So your pronouns um, and also your name, <laughs> which we've already welcomed, and yeah. also just letting us know why you're a good candidate. And also just a uh, reminder to all candidates, um, every question ideally should be answered within a minute, um, but if unable, we will just, you know, politely ask you to um, finish up your answer. But yeah, first question is your name, pronouns, and why you would be a good candidate. For sure. So my name's Nico Williamson. I'm currently the woman student liaison. I use she, her pronouns. So I believe I'd make a really great candidate because I'm really experienced with everything I've learned this past year as the woman student liaison. I attended lobby days with the Alliance of BC Students to lobby the provincial government for things to support post-secondary students in BC. I got free menstrual products in all CSU spaces on campus. I've attended like every meeting, read every single document and bottom line, I just care a lot and I wanna uplift student voices. So that's why I believe I'd be a great candidate. Wonderful. So next question, if you could only accomplish one thing during your term, what would it be? And who in the university would you need to build a relationship to get that done? So my biggest goal is as a student employee, I believe that we should unionize student employees because they aren't really represented. We don't really have a collective voice in the university and we aren't part of the move up union. So to go on, who I'd need to build a relationship with is the move up union. And I know there's some complications with like student rights, employee rights and that overlap and like losing rights. So I'd need to really talk to people, figure out all that information to learn exactly what we can do to have a collective voice of student employees. Wonderful. And what is something the CSU isn't doing that they wish they were? Mm -hmm. So I think everybody in the CSU from employees to board members, they're doing their best. But I think one thing that could be improved on is some streamlining between the CSU and university departments. So let's say like student affairs or the library, we all wanna work together, but sometimes there's some communication hiccups. So I think streamlining that to make things done as quickly as possible to provide the best services for students is where we can improve. Great, and last question, the big one, why should students vote for you? Mm -hmm. So I think I'd be the best candidate because I care a lot about student issues. Um, I attended lobby days, as I mentioned before, and learned a lot about issues facing like sexualized violence, um, like disabled students, international student issues, just to mention a couple. I have a lot of relationships within the university with my experience as a student employee. I was a student ambassador for eight months and I'm currently a sexual violence and wellness research assistant with student affairs. So I have a lot of like networks within the university that's gonna be really, really helpful as VP student affairs because that's basically what my portfolio is gonna be. It's university relations. And I already have so many of those relationships built. So I'll be able to just get to work right away using the relationships I already have. That's great. Um, and that's all the questions we have. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, vote for me. <laughs> thank you. Sounds great. All right. Thank you so much, Nico. Um, I believe that is everyone from the uh, Vice President of Student Affairs role. Um, so up next, I will pass it over to Matt for the Vice President Equity and Sustainability role. Sweet. Can everyone hear me okay? Great. All right, so in VP Equity and Sustainability, we have Laura Morales. Hello. Hello. So really quickly, could you introduce yourself, your pronouns, if you feel comfortable, and let us know why you're a good candidate for this position? Sure. Uh, my name is Laura Morales, and 
I'm in the Associate of Arts pre program. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and I decided to run for this position because I found that the culture of equity, diversity, and inclusion that the university has and that most students agree upon is not uh, reflected the best way possible in our day to day experience as students. And I believe that. Uh, that can be improved, and I would really like to be part of that change. Great, thank you. If you could only accomplish one thing during this term, what would it be? And who in the university would you need to build a relationship with to get it done? Uh, well, I, I would like to continue with uh, the uh, the projects that were not fulfilled in the previous term because some projects need more more time, and I will be willing to continue those. But a, a project that I would like to start and finish in my term uh, will be regarding the scholarships for international students because uh, it's an initiative that does not need a change in the budget, which is usually the first barrier that there is. But in this case, it would, it would be just uh, to uh, reformulate why are uh, international students not able to even apply to most of these scholarships. They are currently only allowed to apply to 7% of all these scholarships. And yeah, so that would be a, a, a problem that I would like to address. And I, I do believe that it could have a solution that could be accomplished in my turn if I were. Great, thank you. And what is something the CSU isn't doing that you wish they were? Um, I think there could be uh, improvement in the communication of the current projects they have, because um, I, I've met a lot of the people in the CSU and they have informed me of, of a lot of their projects and I found them very important and uh, the participation and the participation they need from students is actually very little uh, as a signature in a petition, for example. So I believe that if students have the information, they will be uh, more engaged in participating in this uh, in, in these advocating processes that actually require the students to be interested and to care. So I do believe that students have that care and that interest in helping other groups of students to accomplish these things. So I do believe that the communication could be better in, in the, the social campaigns and, and the social media. And I think that I could, uh, I could help improve that because I have a graphic design background. So I do think that I can help improve that. Great. Thank you. And why should students vote for you? Uh, well, I do have a lot of experience in organizing and uh, creating campaigns, especially for uh, social justice related. So uh, I think that uh, communication is key in order to to uh, any advocating process, because it's not a solo activity. It's like you take an initiative and you can make like the small tight snowball that you, you can start growing. But unless that you have the support of the other students that will actually make up a, a ball large enough to create the change, you really need to have the right communication and to inform students the best way possible so that they can uh, make the change possible. So that's, that's definitely something that I will, it's a skill that I would like to put in service of the students. Great, thank you. That's all the questions we have. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no. Great, thank you, Laura. Next thank up, you. I believe there here is Sahil Sahil. Hello, you're muted. Okay, can you hear me right now? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So real quickly, could you introduce yourself, your pronouns, if you feel comfortable, and let us know why you're a good candidate for this? Uh, hello, guys. So my name is Sahil. I'm running for equity and sustainability position. And my pronouns are he, they. And uh, who am I? I'm like mostly, I like to travel. I like to make friends. I'm a very social person, but I also like to like have normal conversations, sleep sometimes, like have not watch Netflix all day. I'm that kind of person. So that was it, right? That was the question. 
Great, thank you. Thank you. And if you could only accomplish one thing during your term, what would it be and who in the university would you need to contact and build a relationship with to get it done? Uh, so one thing that I would like to like do in the university and is that inclusion. So there are many activities happening in our university right now. There are film festivals happening, there are sports happening, season is over, but next season is coming in September. There are stuff like, you know, uh, programming happening, but the student doesn't know about it. Or there are something like such as community garden. And these kind of happening, these kind of stuff are happening in our university, but the student does, doesn't know about it. And like many people don't feel a part of it. They're they don't feel included. So when they are in groups, small they are in a smaller group. So I want to like unlock that. I want to want them to explore more. So they are like a big diversity in our university. I want to bring it to like a level of a smaller level, make friends of them, introduce like tell them all these festivals, these events that are happening. And how to like join them, how to make friends. There will be something new, which I had issue with in the past. Now I'm like trying to explore more, so I'm getting to know all this. This is something I will do. And the person that will help me in this is like the collective. There's an equity collective right here in our university. There's a women's center, a girls' center. I want to help take help from them to work out this, this inclusion. So. Great, thank you. And um, like to direct your attention to the chat really quickly, just. Um, your voice is coming in twice. Um, so if you have headphones, um, I would use them or turn down the speaker when you speak so it won't um so it won't feed back as much. Okay, go for it. Great, thank you. Um and what is something the CSU is not doing currently that you wish they were? Uh, what is CSU not doing at the current game, which they were? Uh, CSU is doing many things at the moment, but the thing which they are not doing that much, I was like researching about them. And this is something that I felt they are not doing. They are like, there are many things happening, but the, they don't have like table tennis in their like common languages. They don't have many events happening. Like, I want to bring in like tea and dogs. I want to bring in like book clubs. I'm at a weekly programming. I want to bring in, uh, I want to bring in like stuff like, you know, for example, art and class. I used to do it in SFU, in the Bowman Center. I want to bring it here too. So this is here stuff which makes you part of the community. And I don't think that CS is doing these kind of weekly or bi weekly events, which will create a lot of like, a, a, a lot of people coming to this, coming to the lounges and Having kinds of conversation, intellectual conversation, or fun conversation where they feel light and stress free, and that would be fun for them and for me. Yeah. Great. Thank you. And after that, why should students vote for you? Why should students vote, vote for me? So uh, let me ask you uh, are you hearing my voice like two times or just one time? Uh, we're still hearing it twice. So I'm, I'm not sure why. Uh, is, is it still hearable? So, like, can you still hear me or like, is it having a problem? Uh, we can hear you. It just makes it a bit hard to understand. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, give, can you give me a second? I'll just bring on my like, headphones. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, the president's okay. right now properly great that's much better thank you okay so uh so like what was the question again sorry uh why should students vote for you so uh, as uh as a person i have been like doing a lot of like i have a lot of experience in this field i have been in eight months as a collective in women's center sfu student society then i used to work as a sustainability project in turkey Istanbul. then i also worked in a as a research intern in the Human Rights Human Rights Commission of Pakistan for four months, where I wrote reports about what's happening. So my my main goal here is to bring justice, equality, inclusion. Uh, as a collective, we want to have that diversity in our university. Why students should vote for me comes from the fact that, as myself, I'm I'm capable enough of doing a lot of stuff in this office. I can like I can create programming myself. I've done it in SFU. I can I can like make groups myself. I can have like, you know, I can 
you know, as a person, I want to like bring in table tennis or like uh, Xbox in the student lounge. This is not that difficult. Or for example, community, community gardens, which are right now not operational at all. And SFE, we used to like plant, we used to like have like strawberries or something like this. This is not a difficult thing. Does it doesn't require much of funding and can be doable. And I can do it very easily. Other things I want to do in this is like long term long term goals are collaboration with SFU Student Society, Women's Center, and out of out on campus because I have like I have I'm friend with the coordinators, so I want to bring that in and also bring in the workshops like. A lot of workshops that Capilano does are not that much like you know useful and like so I want to bring on those workshops which is like sexuality education or like or like we say for example we used to have like art like art therapy or counseling mental mental health counseling I want to bring in those in the mainstream because right now they are not in the mainstream and if I come come to like be part of this position I'll bring it on as I know I have I have enough social and networking right now to like make that happen. So that's why you should work from like people in SFU should work. CSU should work for me. Sorry. Great. Thank you. And just a reminder to everyone that we do want to keep all of our responses under a minute just to kind of move this forward. If that's okay. Um, and do you have anything else to add? What for me? Thank you. Have a good day. Great. Thank you. So I will hand it off to Freya now for our presidential candidates. Alrighty, so can everyone hear me all right? Hopefully, all good. Um, time for the big roll. <laughs> CSU presidential candidates. First up, we have Karen Deep Singh Sahira. Sorry if I mispronounce anyone's names. Um, and which looks like they are here. Perfect. So first question is to introduce yourself. Super easy. Um, your name, your pronouns, and just to let us know why you're a good candidate for this role. Thanks a lot. Hello everyone, my name is Karandeep Singh Sanghira. Uh, I am currently at, uh, acting as president in uh, uh, Kaplan Student Unions. My term is till 31st May. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, his. Accessibility needs are met. Joining from ancestor and uh, stolen lands of Muslim, Slavatut and uh, Sashlet nations. Yeah, and talking about like why I am a good candidate. Uh, so basically I am current CS2 president, uh, holding the experience of all the workings and all the necessities basically. Other than this, having a good relationship with the university, with uh, executives of university, university vice chancellor. I am also a senator in Capilano University. Right now, I have got elected for that too. And other than this, I also have experience of uh, student advocacy. I lobbied for a with ABCS in Victoria, and I also have one future meeting uh, in Ottawa in upcoming in March. Perfect. Uh, so first real question, <laughs> if you could only accomplish one thing during your term, what would it be? And who in the university would you need to build a relationship to get that done? Uh, so it's like also my existing plan, like it's uh, already working is going, work is going on this and it's like my dream one uh, to collab our university with other institutions for researches and all that stuff. Uh, like. For this, I require support of all the executives, uh, basically our academic uh, lawyering styles we have. And we also, it's it's also a matter discussed with uh, Paul Dangerfield regarding this. And also we require support of all the deans of various faculties to accomplish the researches and all that stuff. Perfect. And what is something the CSU isn't doing that they wish that you wish they were? Uh, being present at the core of CSU, I can't say anything specific that isn't doing or we are trying to do. Basically, there are many services which we are, which are on the way. Like there are, everything requires a lot of time, to be honest, to accomplish, to change the laws. Like there are many laws that are already proposed by our board of directors, which requires voting, which requires quorum and a lot of stuff. So I can't say anything specific. I can't say any services which is not going on. I can't say any event or uh, any source of entertainment, any uh, student right facility, which is like uh, all the staff members are like present at the first call of any, any student regarding any sport or any problem they face. So I can't say anything regarding this. Thank you. Yep. And a question specifically for the presidential role. Has the CSU done enough to address indigenous student concerns on campus? Why are mm -hmm. we not? And if not, what would you tangibly do to improve this if elected? Uh, basically, uh, 
we are having a very good uh, position uh, as Riley Simons at our CSU Indigenous License, which is supporting us in all the ways along with Dona call. And we are having events at our Indigenous Source Center. And with all these kind of sports, we uh, have a March recently in February. Regarding this, we have our Indigenous framework, like we, we passed a motion to change the indigenous framework for university. And so I can say like the, all, the work is already going on and we obviously require support of indigenous students for this because we can't do anything at our own. That's great. Um, and now time for your closing statement. So why should students vote for you? Yeah, uh, so from talking to each student and bringing up their issues to the, uh, talking with MLAs, talking with our president of university, uh, I think I have performed everywhere at every uh, instance, uh, bringing up the new things like that we can act and bringing up the new styles for uh, course scheduling, for housing, like what we can do and like bringing up my own issue regarding food security. I think like there are many things that I had done. And other than this, being on the field is the, I, I can say, is the like best thing that I did in the recent term. Like I met hundreds of students, I tried to solve as much as problems as I can. Some are minor, some are major, some I solved at my own and some I passed through to our CSU staff. So that's why I can say like, uh, I can be the best candidate. I can say that. Perfect. And um, before we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, like, so, just, just one thing for uh, all the voters who are out there. Like I'm not promising for anything that I can do this, I can do this. I already did many things. You can check that, like check my report card before voting. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Ken Karandi. Um, So up next, I would welcome to the stage, um, Mantej Singh. What should be coming to the stage really shortly? There we go. Hello, Mantej. All right, if you are able to turn on your camera and unmute, that would be best. I'll give you a moment to do that. Hi, am I visible now? Hello, yes, I can hear you. Um, your camera seems to be a little bit fuzzy for some reason, where it looks like a, a white okay. screen. <laughs> Just a second, I'm sorry. No worries. All right. Thank you. Hi. All right. Bye. All right, so uh, first question, that isn't really much of a question, but uh, could you introduce yourself, um, your pronouns, if you feel comfortable, and also let us know why you're a candidate for this role. Hi, so first of all, hi everybody. My name is Manthi Singh. I am currently pursuing Associate of Arts degree, and it's my first semester in the Capilano University. So like, it's been more than a year, like I am involved with the Capilano University. Like I learned a lot of things like what do we need to focus on? And there are so many things which could we make better. Uh, like if uh, I also think like I can do I can do that if I become the president. So uh, uh, like and if I if I talk about my qualifications, like I have also studied law, like B A L L B for two and a half years when I was back, back in India. Apart from him, I was also involved with sports and co-curricular activities. Like I am a national medalist in rowing. It's about sports. Yeah, so like I, I also want to in, uh, promote and make make the student confident to come into the sport and do best in the best interest of the university. Thank you. Um, I also just want to ask if you do have headphones to use them, if possible. I do notice there's a little bit of background noise, and I just uh, yeah. oh yeah, actually uh, the thing I'm already wearing the earphones. I will just if you give me a sec, I will just change my uh, uh, position. Yep, no worries. Good moment. Just wanting to make sure that everyone has a chance to hear all the questions or other answers. Hi, is it better now? Yep, that sounds a lot better, thank you. Perfect. So um, if you could only accomplish one thing during your term, what would it be? And who in the university would you need to build a relationship with to get it done? 
two years. So first of all, the basic thing I want to focus on is the mental health of the student. So like I think like uh, in the student life, uh, problems never gonna stop because every day comes with the new challenges. So I just want I just want all the students to uh, be become confident and come forward to talk to us because I don't I think like students just a bit roughy, feel a bit shy to talk to their professors or my, like there are counseling, but still like uh, students uh, don't feel so much com comfortable to talk to them because uh, uh, they want somebody who is uh, their age group who also studying in that particular field. Like they, uh, they can also understand the problems because I'm also a student, I'm also, I handle my work hours. Like I do, I do work for the hours, the part of it, I uh, do my, all my assignments and stuff. So I know like there are so many things that happen in person's life if you take it uh, like financially you have to you have to work for your tuition fees and all that stuff and you have to maintain your personal space you have to maintain you have to cook for uh, food for you you have to go home and do other stuff and and still at night you have to study so so if i get a chance i will just i will just diminish all the things which are becoming a restraint in the student's life apart from academics and co-curricular activities so i will, i want all the students to become focused on their studies, and I will take care of all the problems which are being be, uh, being a friction in their life and studies. That's great, thank you. Um, just a reminder to keep questions to a minimum of a minute as best as I can. Um, and also, so next question: What is something the CSU isn't doing that you wish that they were? Like CSU, uh, I want to like CSU not doing like CSU doing a lot of work. But uh, still, like if you, if I if I talk about the new students, if you talk about the new students, the new students are not getting enough knowledge. Like uh, what are the services provided to them? Because those students are in particular are uh, need the most most uh, information about the student because they don't know. Like they are just entering into the university. Like what are the facilities we can provide to them? Like CSU is the middle ground to, uh, for the students and the one who are above them. We are the middle ground. Like they can take all their problems to us. Like then it's it's our headache to maintain uh to diminish all their problems. But students don't have any idea. Like what is CSU? Where is the registrar office? Where where is like a uh, CIE? How to get the academic advising? So I just want to make more awareness uh, for the newcomers and uh, want, uh like give them a proper advice, which uh, by which they will uh, become like free free minded and uh, focus on this focus focus on the studies from the day one. Thank you. Um, and next question, which is, has the CSU done enough to address indigenous student concerns on campus? Why or why not? And if not, what would you tangibly do to improve this if elected? Hey, yes, like CSU or uh, CSU like uh, have done so many so many things. Like I'm also a board member. Like currently, I'm uh, working as accessibility justice coordinator. Like CSU has uh, done a lot, uh, done a lot of things like um, having meetings with indigenous people, having march, and and they haven't done so much thing. But there are there are still uh, so many things I have uh, I have to learn because my uh, I was I was involved into it, but not that much uh, according to my authority or my position. Perfect. And time for your closing statement. So why should students vote for you? So like, first of all, like uh, I, I have told you, like I am, uh, I'm involved into the sports and I have done law studies. So like uh, it has made my communication skills, my team leading skills, my interpersonal skills and talking to students on a day-to-day -day basis. But like I have talked to, I have tried my best to talk to as much as, uh, as much as students I, I, I can. So like I will, I will bring up more scholarships if the student is doing if a student is doing best in the interest of the university and like it could be sports, bringing up more sports, bringing up more courses and uh, acknowledging them and, and enlightening them what is their future after the university because that's was, uh, that's the most important thing every student wants. Like what what is the more, more opportunities which uh, they can do after their studies because uh, everybody is studying to get uh, to get a better job and stuff. I will bring up more job opportunities uh, after their student and, and I will just enlighten them. All right, thank you so much. Um, anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, yes, yeah. so like, uh, I just wanted to say like, every, uh, 
so give uh, give a new candidate a new chance because i think uh, like uh, if a new candidate will come they will get get come with a new ideas with and and like fresh ideas and so vote vote for the one who think you who can uh, who could be accessible to you easily and the one who who can work for you and raise your voices uh, at every at every moment thank you perfect thank you so much mentej all right and just circling back to um the vice president external role which is manpreet kar if you are unable to unmute and turn on your camera that is best hi um just a second i'm trying to turn on my camera no worries i'll give you a moment It it's not turning on for some reason. That's okay. Um, I'm sure that just having your um, mic unmuted is more than fine. Um, so first question is um, just introducing yourself, uh, your pronouns, if you feel comfortable, and letting us know why you would be a good candidate as the vice president role. Okay. Um, hi everyone. My name is Manpreet. Pronoun she her. I am currently VP Student Affairs at CSU, um, and my uh, I'm joining from the ancestral lands of Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil nations. Um, I will be a good candidate because I have the passion to um, get into the work of student advocacy and experience for it. And I also know how to use the, uh, that knowledge to maintain relationships with the university and people outside. Um, so like right now I am VP Student Affairs and I'm also a guest at Senate. Um, I'm part of various committees within the CSU and the university and outside as well. I'm also an ABCS executive member mm -hmm. Uh, so which is a provincial organization which deals with student advocacy um, so due to these reasons i think uh, my knowledge will be well put in this role as vp external so that's why i think i'm a good candidate that's great um if you could only accomplish one thing during your term what would it be and who in the university would you need to build a relationship with to get it done so um my main focus um while my term as student affairs was to improve the student experience in the university. But for a lot of issues that I wanted to improve, when I talked to the university people, they were like, these are kind of out of our hands as well. So you really need to like approach the government for these, like say the international tuition cap or uh, introducing more programs in universities, more funding for things like sexualized violence um, advocacy, these kind of things, even if the university agrees with us uh, to work on these, they cannot do much in terms of uh, funding or policy making. So that's why um, my main focus will be to make post-secondary education accessible and affordable to like as many students as possible, because today's students are the ones who are going to be um, in like skill work or even like decision making roles. Uh, so they really need to have access to this um, uh, affordable education. So that's like my main focus is gonna be. And um, I already kind of have good relationship with the university people, but I'll need to look out more, connect with more provincial organizations and um, see how the things they're working on, I can further work on them and like join my voice to theirs. That's great. Uh, what is something the CSU is isn't doing, and that you wish that they were? Um, this this is kind of a trick question. The CSU does a lot, but like the board changes every uh, term, so it's like a different group of people each time, and they have different priorities. They agree on different things. So I think it's not what it's not doing, but each year varies like what priorities they do have. So like they still wanna focus on all those issues, but because of a different set of students, it's it's just like different priorities. Some Sometimes there's maybe a higher number of international students and they focus uh, want to focus more on those issues, but it's just like that sort of thing. All right, and time for a question that is particularly just for your role. International students have been hit hard during the pandemic. What would you lobby governments for in regard to international student support? Okay, so first of all, it would be really, really helpful to have like a, a two percent tuition cap on international student tuition as well, because like that uh, different universities have it in their hand and so many things like uh, 
even from an economical point of view, changed during the pandemic. And the governments were uh, like not funding post-secondary education enough anyway. Um, so the universities kind of rely on international student tuition, which I understand it's their last way, but it's not good for international students because they're not just paying high tuition anyway. They also have to like look out for housing. They're, they're usually the ones who travel so far. Um, so it's it's really not like helpful to them to not have an idea how their few like next few years are gonna be. If they have an idea like that their tuition is at least set, then they would be able to focus better on education and like um, working in general. So like that would be my main kind of goal. Yeah, um, that sounds great. And time for your closing statement. So why should students vote for you? Oh, well, um, for the reasons I stated, like why I am a good candidate, I believe people should vote for me because my experience and information can be put to good use. And I'm like, as an international student myself, I'm really passionate about these issues. Uh, in my role as student affairs, I used to go out to students and talk to them because I realized that they were not coming to my office hours. Either they didn't know of it or they weren't like, uh, didn't know where to look. But I, I try to go out of my way to find voices of students where they can be represent, uh, represented. And I believe students really need to be part of the decision making because I have noticed this thing everywhere. Only people who suffer from these issues can actually represent them and someone else cannot really speak for them. So students really need to be part of the discussion everywhere. And I think that's why students should vote for me. That sounds great. Um, before we finish up, are there anything, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Um, I don't think so. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Manpreet. Alrighty. Um, so thank you for everybody who spoke. I'm going to pass the mic over to Matt to wrap up the forum, but I just want to thank you so much for your time. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all on Thursday. Thank you. Great. Well, I would love to repeat Freya's statement. Thank you to all of the candidates. Thank you to Freya for joining me on this. Thank you to all of you who have attended. I know it's the middle of the day. It's lunchtime. You've got better things to eat. But um, so thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us today. Uh, join us again on Thursday at the same time. So Thursday at noon to hear from candidates for our constitution constituency liaison, our faculty representatives, and candidates for the Capilano Business and Professional Society. And just a reminder, voting will take place online from March 14th to 16th. Every student should get an email with their own personal voting link. And Unofficial results will be posted on the evening of March 16th. It will take a couple of days for them to fully codify the results. And yes, follow us at Capilano Courier on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook for updates, and follow at Cap Student Union as well on the same. And that is it from me. Once again, thank you all for coming and we'll see you hopefully on Thursday.